um, farming up some material. What just happened? Did I really have power? What's up, my friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Space Engineers. Oh my god. People are hyped about this game, and people are giving me tips like you wouldn't believe, okay? I just want to say, first of all, guys, if I don't get to your tips in this episode or next episode or the episode after, um, please keep giving them. Um, the fact is, I'm getting so many tips, I'm having a hard time keeping up, okay? This game is hella deep, hella confusing, hella awesome. Let's get going. First of all, right off the bat, for my... And I, I could be wrong about any of this, and if I am, let me know. But from what I understand, the beacon is completely useless <laughs> in single player for a standing still base okay what you want to do is you want to come up here no not to that you want to come up here to the gps marker and this you can mark um anything you want on the map i went ahead and marked you do new current uh new from current position and i did that and i named it cage 848 hq and that is right here you can see it right there as i back up Right? You can see the beacon too, but the beacon takes takes parts and stuff, and I, I really didn't need to make the beacon, as far as I can tell. Um, now, if you have a ship that's moving, then the beacon is probably useful, or if you're playing multiplayer, the beacon's definitely useful. Um, but for now, I'm going to turn that off because I don't really need it. And that's going to help me get back to base. Also, I have been doing a new way of digging. First of all, let's go ahead. Oh, another thing is a lot of my conveyors in here weren't working because the ship has to be powered in order for your conveyors to be working, which is... You know, pretty interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in here. And where did my uh, UI go? There it is. And we're going to undock. And we're going to come over here. I've been doing a new way of digging. Where I kind of just spin in a circle. Right? And just kind of dig that way. Um, I think this... Is that the circle? Yeah, that's the circle I was working on. Okay. And what I do is... If, if I'm on dirt or like gravel or whatever... Then I just hold down the right click uh, for the drill. The right click will dig out quicker... And give you no resources. But when you get the stone, that's when I'm going to be actually um, using left click, which will give me the resources. I also find it a little bit easier to mine like this in this uh, view. And then you just kind of spin around. Now, I do not have any, uh, any storage on this ship. That is correct. The drill itself has some storage, but it's very limited. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Today, we're going to be putting storage on this thing. And we're also going to start working with conveyors. Now, conveyors are pretty interesting. They're kind of just pipes that move things around from one place to another. Between, you know, um, between, uh, you know, storage between assemblers, between, you know, refineries and stuff. Uh, it's basically all the stuff in, in uh, let's see, we're getting heavy. Um, as you get heavy, your ship will not work as well. Yeah, I'm already on my side here. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to shut this off and see what happens. There we go. There we go. All right, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. So as you get heavy, it affects your ship, and it also depends on where the weight distribution is in your ship. I'm having a hard time right now because of that, but I think I'll be all right. Oh my God, this thing is really, really working poorly. Okay, well, <laughs> let's see if we can do this. All right, now turn that off. You know what? I think that's good. <laughs> let's just get out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to empty this thing so it's not having those issues. All right, so there's a lot of weight in here, right? And this thing can only hold so much weight. So it's not that much weight. I've had more weight in there than before. Another tip that I was given, that, and this is a fantastic tip, in order to, de to deposit all the ores you have on you, you simply hold Alt and Middle Mouse button. How freaking fantastic is that? I wish I knew all this stuff when I first started playing, but that's the way these games are, man. When you first start playing, you don't know this stuff, and you're just kind of, you know, doing what you can. There we go. Beautiful. And then we will get the rest. I could change all of this, by the way. I could make it where I can hold much more. Um, but I don't know. I kind of like the realism of it because it's going to really make me appreciate ships once I get ships doing all my work for me. All right? I could probably also take apart this beacon for parts. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that. Oh, inventory's full. Wait, full of what? All that stuff? Oh, yeah. These freaking radio components are like super, super duper. Um, take up a lot of room. Super duper take up a lot of room. All right, so let's just go ahead and dump everything in here. Oh, that thing's full too. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Now what I could do is I can um, go to production and just disassemble all this stuff. Or, you know, a lot of it. I don't need the canvas. 
So we're going to go ahead and disassemble the canvas. Um, disassemble the radio components, because those are what's taking up all the room. Alright, we'll go ahead and do that. And now let's see if we can get the ship on its proper... <laughs> set up properly. Yep, see? Yep. So now that it's not as heavy. So does the ship itself have a reading somewhere I'm not seeing on the screen that lets you know its weight? It says its weight on the bottom right-hand side, but it doesn't tell me when that weight is getting to be too much. And I, I think it should. I think there should be an option where it's like, okay, your weight is getting too much, you know? Ready to locked. Beautiful. All right. All right. So that's cool. All right, so what we're going to do today is we got to get some uh, we got to get some conveyors going. Like I said, conveyors are basically tubes that are going to move things around and make everything better. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and let's see how we're doing in here now. Yep, much better. Much better. Uh, I forget how to move stuff automatically. Double click. That's right. It won't move it because it's not in the top resource spot. That's okay. All right, that's good. And do we have more? This is gonna be a problem. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Let me get this thing taken down. All right. I've dismantled the beacon and put everything back in here. Um, I am still uh, disassembling these. Well, these are all gone, so we could just click that now. And we have a good amount of resources here. So what I need to do is, on this ship, I need to you see right there in the back of the cockpit those holes right there. Those are small conveyor hole things. I don't really know what the technical name for them is. They're just holes that allow. Um, resources to go through them now the small ones will only let small resources go through which is as far as i understand pretty much just ore so components won't be able to go through that stuff but that's okay because that's not what i need this for okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clear this off and i'm going to look for some things i'm gonna need here so i'm gonna need right here a medium cargo container and if memory serves me correct i cannot make conveyor things because i have not made the medium cargo container yet or any kind of cargo container. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is make the cargo container. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it right there. We need interior plates, I think. I think the thing on the bottom is what you need to get it started. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know, probably. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put that down right there. Doesn't matter which way it's facing. Do we have to actually build it? For I think we have to actually build it. I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and build this up. We're gonna need uh, construction components, compute. Oh, there's another thing I wanted to show you. I will show you after this though. Interior plates, display, motor, computer. Interior display, oh, computers. Interior computer, motors, interior. Do I, did I need more interior? I don't know. I think I did. Here we go. And what else do we need? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, we need a display. Probably just one. But I got something to show you after this, man. You guys are going to love this. Just wait. And a lot of you guys are probably telling me about it right now. But don't worry. I know, guys. I know. I know about the planner. Um, construction components. Construction components. I know I have a lot of those. Okay. And there we go. Now, this should unlock all the conveyor stuff. And there you go. Now, we're just going to take it apart. Okay. Be careful. I don't want to, like, saw anything behind it. All right. So, um, when I put that back down again, okay, you can see right here, there's different conveyor inputs and outputs there's no input and output it's they're all inputs and outputs but you can see right there there's a small one and if i rotate it there's a big one small one big one i wonder what's on the bottom all right don't look like there's anything on the bottom okay so there's nothing on the bottom or the top all right so what we're gonna do is we are going to have this face down like so and we're gonna have the small one facing that way all right so this is, the, this is going to be the orientation of the medium cargo container, but I'm not going to put it down yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to medium cargo container. Uh, yeah, I see these are all the conveyor things now. Medium, large, small. Where's the medium? Medium cargo container. All right, and I'm going to drag it down here to the build planner. All right, now it's on the build planner. I come into here, right? And this button right here, add components from the build planner, boom. It's now going to make everything I need for the medium cargo container. How freaking sweet is that? And I don't need any of this stuff for the medium cargo container. I'm just doing that for you guys because that is freaking phenomenal. Okay, so we've also got these uh, conveyors. I'm just going to take this small conveyor right here. Okay, and I'll bring that over here. Now, if you mouse wheel, if you look on the top right-hand side, right below the home, delete, page down, and end button, this says small conveyor. If you mouse wheel, 
it'll go through all of the small conveyor things. Just kind of like, kind of like Imperion did, and then Seven Days to Die did, and now it's in this game as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a straight one right here, and I'm going to put it right there. Okay. Then I'm going to take a turn. I can't really see the way it's turning. I think it's turning the way I want it to. Nope, it's turning down, of course. Uh, it, it's hard to tell. Okay, I can see it now. And we're going to turn that one that way. Now, I don't think I can reach that from here, which kind of sucks. Now it means we're going to have to kind of take apart some of the shit to get in there. And just, we'll replace these blocks. doesn't really matter that much. Okay. And can we reach it now? We can. And there we go. So that's going to be two conveyors, which is going to bring it up to this point, right? And we need to get out of this. Okay. And then we're going to put in another one of these little turny ones facing this way. All right. Now we can put down the cargo container and it should be hooked up to the cargo container properly. Let's go ahead and replace those light armor blocks. Five. Oh, they're big. Wait, that's not a light armor block. That's a light armor block. Much better. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that and that. And then we should be able to place this down now. All right, so we want it facing down. We want the big outputs facing down. There's a reason for that. That looks like it's farther out than it than I wanted it to be. Why is that? Is there any way I could deal with that? Yeah, there, there probably is. That's weird that it's coming farther out. I built this before, and it fit in perfectly, and now it's not. Does it really matter? You know what? It really doesn't. Who gives a crap? I'll just I'll build the ship out farther. No big deal. All right, so there we go. And now those should all be hooked up. So the way you know if they're hooked up properly is you, you, the, the ship has to be powered in order for you to do this. So we're going to power the ship. And then we're going to get out. And we're going to go in the back. And we're going to look at this part below. Inventory. Now, if I can take and move everything out of there, that means it's all hooked up properly. All right, so right here, the cockpit. All right, so I can't move stuff in the cockpit. Did I hook this up wrong? Or is it just only... Well, only ore can go through it. Can I take this out of the cockpit? I can. So there you go. So ore can only go through these things. Remember I told you that? Because they're small conveyor holes. There you go. So I can put stone in the cockpit. I can take stone out of the cockpit. The H2O2 generator is not hooked up. But I could also put it in the drill. Take it out of the drill. And that's the medium cargo container. All right, cool. I've hooked it up properly. All right, now just to make this easier, I'm going to disassemble everything in here. Just because I want to use that planner thing and I've got like very odd amount of stuff and I'm just I'm just gonna break it all down to its rawest form and then we will work from there uh, as far as I understand you get a hundred percent back so I went ahead and built some stuff on the ends of this to kind of protect it a little bit and now I've dug out underneath it because we need to put a connector in the bottom all right that's our next move so we need a connector there we go all right, and we put it right on the bottom, um, right there, there we go, is that right? That's right, okay, and there's a connector. What that's going to do is, um, eventually, we will be able to um, just dock that to a connector on the base, and then we just move things through automatically, and that's that's the, um, that's the ultimate uh, goal here, all right? So, um, what I think I'm going to do now is... We are going to go ahead and look for some uh, cargo blocks. There we go. Now, we have to use different kind of uh, conveyors for bases, and these things are really, really expensive, unfortunately. Um, not too much I can do about that. It's just going to it's gonna cost a lot. Uh, actually, I don't think I want to use that one. I want to use Junction. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. All right, now these things are going to be hella expensive. I don't even know if I'm going to get get this done this video. They're so expensive. Why would that turn all the way? It's kind of weird. There we go. All right, so we're going to put this out. Hmm. How do I do this? You know, let's just use a straight one for now. And then we'll use a one point thing up. Come on. There you go. Now look at how expensive these things are. Look at that. Wait. Those don't seem as expensive as I thought. I thought they were more expensive. Eh, what are you going to do? Alright. So number eight, and we'll put a connector on the top there. That's backwards, by the way. I'll do it like that. And there you go. And now, we just need to set this up to be able to make those things. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go right here on the connector. 
and I'm going to go to get rid of this one by the way I'm gonna go right here on the connector to the planner and then I'm going to go on conveyor junction uh, we'll do these one at a time I think it'll just be easier that way all right is everything disassembled it is let's clear this out assemble inventory and there we go now that will be for the first connector god this is gonna be expensive god look at that we still need a lot more iron Jesus well that stuff's expensive man I think we're gonna have to go and do some more mining now let's go ahead and do some more mining now that we've got some more uh, storage on here now this thing is gonna get a lot heavier though and we really need to be careful while we're mining uh yeah whatever that thing on the back is gonna get broken out I should just break it out now that's gonna get broken out so there we go and let's get in this bad boy and let's go do some more mining hell yeah we are turn it on oh I turned it off never turn it off never turn your ship off uh, when you're not docked that was a mistake that was a big mistake I might not be able to yep and that is not good I don't even know what blew up I don't want to know what blew up let's just try and get this thing on its side come on go forward damn it come on oh I see what blew up okay Okay, that's fine. Honestly, that's a lot better than what I thought blew up. <laughs> I thought I blew up my uh, my assembler and stuff. Oh my god. Alright, let me rebuild this. Alright guys, I've rebuilt the storage. Let's try and do this again without blowing stuff up, okay? How about that? Would that be nice? That would be nice. Okay, turn on the ship. Make sure make sure it's on. Undock. Oh, guys, you know, that's a <clears throat> that is a valuable, valuable lesson. An incredibly valuable lesson. All right, so I think when this thing gets up to about 3,400, no, 34,000 kilograms, that's when I'm going to have to start worrying about uh, weight. So let's go ahead and uh, get as much stone as we possibly can. We've got some work to make up here. Uh, we lost some components having to rebuild that thing, so what are you going to do? Just the way it goes sometimes. Try and stay level as best you can. Got to keep an eye on that thing on the horizon. See that little line going left to right? That's the horizon marker. And you want to keep that as straight as possible. Um, because I don't have any kind of thrust that could get me off my side. You know, if I go on my side, I'm kind of I'm kind of in trouble. So we want to stay as level with the gravity as we can. So all four of our power thrusters are pointing down. Alright. Okay. Alright, looking good. I think at 32,000 I'm going to go back. Let's, uh, let's actually check. I'm kind of curious what we got in here. So you can see right here. There you go. It's all in. It's all in the uh, cargo container, and the cargo container is now full. So now it's going to come into the cockpit and in the drill and all that stuff. The cargo container doesn't actually hold as much as you would think, considering it's like a medium cargo container. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't. It, it makes no difference because we don't. We only have so much, uh, you know, lift when we get all those kinds of issues. But oh, there we go. Okay, let's stop right now. We can only move around so much weight. So it is one. It is pretty irrelevant that we can only hold so much. It really doesn't matter. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of try and back in here. Go slow. Go slow. Especially when you don't have any power in your ship. Real power. You know you gotta be careful. Actually, that was a little bit harder of a landing than I wanted it to be. All right. There. Turn it off. Get out. Okay. Is it landing gear okay? Oh, I don't. I don't think I ever finished the landing gear. That was stupid. <laughs> just say, just throwing that out there. Just keep a, keep an eye on all of your systems around your ship, because things will take massive amounts of damage, even when you don't think they will. I actually lost a thruster while playing the other day on my uh, stream world with this same uh, with this same build. Although all my thrusters look, look like they're in pretty decent shape right now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See that thing. Too. Oh, I never finished. I gotta finish that, by the way. All right. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to empty this thing out. This would be the best place to empty it out from. Although I should probably give it power. So I can get to all systems from there. But it should be okay. You know what? Let's put a damn ramp here. What the hell am I doing? There we go. That was the obvious solution. Alright guys, there's something I want you to hear. Because this is very interesting. So... 
Right, I'm gonna come over here. I'm a. You hear that? Everything sounds okay. Now listen. All right. So what's going on is, if we look in the control panel, the assembler takes uh, 280 kilowatts. The refinery takes 330 kilowatts. My wind turbine's only bringing in 357. What's happening is, when I put stuff in the basic refinery, um, it's eating up all the power, and the assembler can't work. Which is not a big deal. You just wait until the stuff's done and then you move on to the assembler. You know, it's not really a big deal. I could add more wind turbines. Not really a concern for me right now. What's what concern for me right now is to get the auto mining going and um, maybe even find some, uh, maybe find some cobalt. I don't know. Might be a good idea. Cobalt's the one thing you can't get from stone that I'm going to need early game. I can't make any of those, um, what are they called? Damn it. There we go. I actually I accidentally took everything out of there, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you look over here, under production, I can't make these metal grids. I need cobalt for that. So that's going to be a thing that I'm going to have to deal with. All right, so let's go ahead and take everything out of there. And is that everything? No, that's not everything because we probably have stuff in the cockpit. Probably have stuff in the cockpit. Damn it, I keep holding control. To put stuff away and it's it's alt no games use alt <laughs> i hope that games usually use control all right so let's get in here okay go into inventory there we go all right so this whole thing should be empty now of all the stone and it is beautiful and that's how you get stone now that's how i'm gonna get stone just gotta make sure not to crash the damn thing all right so what i'm gonna do now is we're gonna come into here and I'm going to grab out all of these things. All of the things. And we are going to get... Uh, actually, that's going to be the last one. Get that thing going. Oh, missing some computers. That's okay. Missing some motors. That's okay. Those should be being made, right? Uh, they are not. That's interesting. I don't know why I set them up to make those things. But... Um, Computers and motors. All right, let's go ahead and make some of those now. All right, guys, I think I have enough for the connector on the ship. And uh, to finish everything up, let's take a look. Uh, da, 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 about like that. There we go. And that's going to get done. Beautiful. And then we just got to do the connector over there. Man, this ship is like almost impossible to mine with, though. It's really tough. I'm going to have to get like a real ship. But hopefully this will uh, get me through and there we go i'd just like to do some auto mining that's all i want to do i don't know how these work either i gotta kind of i should probably look that up now huh how the uh, connectors work i know you gotta press buttons toggle the magnetic lock uh from your toolbar or press p connectors will show up yellow when in range um okay all right i actually i think i could probably do that so let's go ahead and look for that connector um, toggle, no, uh, switch lock. I think that's what I want to do. Alright, then I just gotta do that. All right, maybe we should just try and hook up to it now, just to kind of test it out. I guess that might be a good idea. Let's kind of go in like this, and you just kind of get these on each other. And I think they go yellow when they're in range, right? Yes, no, maybe so. Alright. Eh? Eh? Um, hmm. I'm right on top of it. And it's not yellow. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Who knows? Could be a million things. Oh, there we go. And three. And we're locked in. So now, I should be able to actually interact with stuff with the ship. The basic... Oh, look at that. Okay, so I can move every... Actually, I think it took everything out of the ship. It did. It did. Look at this. The refiner took all the stone and is automatically making the iron. Oh, that that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Alright, so let's unlock. And there we go. And let's go get some more ore. Or some more stone. I don't know if this is going to work, though. With this thing on the bottom trying to mine into the ground like this. I, you know, I should probably try and maybe mine inside side of mountains. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Because, I don't know. It's fun. It's fun. Let's go ahead and take this around. Oh no. Oh no. Tell me the game didn't just crash. I think the game just crashed. I don't even know if you guys can hear me anymore. Okay, I don't know how much you, you guys... I don't know how much of you heard of that, guys, but I just crashed. So that was fun. 
Um, so let's go ahead and dock into this thing again. Come on. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. There we go. And dock. And that should just take everything out, right? Yep, there it goes. It's all coming out of the cockpit. All right, we are now empty. Let's undock and let's see if we can go, you know, get some work done now. I'm going to try and save the game often too in case like ships blow up and stuff. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need those headaches. This game is very unforgiving. So I'm going to take advantage of the save feature if I can. I know the game does. I think it auto saves because just now I didn't, I didn't hit that save. It must auto save. But hopefully if I save manually, I can kind of go back if ships blow up or whatnot. All right. So I think once we get close to 30,000 kilograms, we are going to uh, call it a day, go dock, dump the rest of the stuff in there, and um, I think we're good to really start um, farming up some material. What just happened? Did I run out of power? I ran out of power. I didn't even see it. You guys are probably tell me in the comments too. Well, that's a problem for next video. <laughs> I am not going to worry about that right now. Yeah, the battery ran out of power. So, oh, I... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Save. No. Here we go, guys. I might be able to salvage this. I might be able to salvage this. So, when you're docked with those connectors, you share power. So, oh, you share power. It was th That thing sucked all the power out of the battery. That's what happened. That's why I ran out of power in the battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to dock right here. Got 30 seconds. Come on. Dock. Okay, once we're docked, we're okay. All right, so what happened was your battery has all different kinds of settings, right? And the charge mode is auto, which means that basically what happened was the um, the the or the or refinery thing and the assembler were drawing power from the battery in my ship so what we want to do is we want to put this on recharge right and then it should draw power from the base which is getting power with the wind turbine so i think what we want to do now is guys we want to first of all this we got to wait for this thing to power up <laughs> um i don't know how much stored power we're going to need but we're going to need a lot and then i think i think what we're going to do is we're going to make more wind turbines we got to get the power really going in this thing because that's what the problem is now i think when i come out of here i'm gonna be i'm gonna turn on my jetpack and see if i can get out of this thing without getting my butt kicked there we go i gotta turn it off as soon as i get out and there you go now that thing will power up with the wind turbine basically what's going on is this thing is this thing this ship is is for all intents and purposes a part of this base and it will gain power it's actually drawing power from everything we'll be able to do anything um with the ship like that but that's okay I'd like to be able to get into the system, but I can't. I'd have to actually be in this. I'd have to be actually be in the ship now, to to actually be, get into the menus and stuff. Yeah, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. All right, guys. Well, that was pretty exciting. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.